Well, you know the old formula. Comedy equals tragedy plus time. And you have been asleep for a while, so I guess it's actually pretty funny when you do the math. I thought about our dilemma, and I came up with a solution that I honestly think works out best for one of both of us. Federal regulations require me to warn you that this next test chamber is looking pretty good. That's right, the facility is completely operational again. I think these test chambers look even better than they did before. It was easy, really. You just have to look at things objectively, see what you don't need anymore, and trim out the fat.
I've got a surprise for you after this next test. Not a fake, tragic surprise like last time. A real surprise with tragic consequences. And real confetti this time. The good stuff. Our last bag. Part of me is going to miss it. But at the end of the day, it was just taking up space. What's going on? Who turned off the lights? Hey, buddy! I'm speaking in an accent that is beyond her range of hearing. Look, Metal Ball, I can hear you. Run! I don't need to do the voice. Run! Run! Come on! Come on! Run! Come on! I'm closing the door! Okay, quickly, come! We are escaping. All right, that's what's happening now. We're escaping. Uh, so you're doing great. Just keep running. Uh, quick word about the future plans that I've got in store. We're gonna shut down her turret production line, all right? Turn off her neurotoxin and then confront her. Again, though, for the moment, run! Come on, let's go. The irony is you are almost at the last test. Here it is. Why don't you just do it? Trust me, it's an easier way out than whatever asinine plan your friend came up with. A what? Come on, how stupid does she think we are? Wait, where are you going? Where are you going? Oh, look. There's a deer. You probably can't see it. Get closer. Oh! You made it through, well done. Okay, follow me. We've still got work to do. At least she can't touch us back. What's happening? Um... turn this flashlight on, I would die. They told me that about everything. I mean, I, I don't even know why they bothered giving me this stuff if they didn't want me to use it. It's pointless. Man. Ooh. It's dark down here, isn't it? They say that the old caretaker of this place went absolutely crazy. 
chopped up his entire staff of robots. All of them robots. They say at night you can still hear the screams of their replicas. All of them functionally indistinguishable from the originals. No memory of the incident. Nobody knows what they're screaming about. Absolutely terrifying. Though obviously not paranormal in any meaningful way. Careful, careful. Wait, wait, careful. Let me light this jump for you. Okay, this looks dangerous. I'll hold the light steady. Oh, nicely done. Quick, this way. Here's an interesting story. You might like this. I almost got a job down here in manufacturing. But uh, guess who the foreman went with? Only an exact duplicate of himself, nepotism. Ended up giving me the worst possible job, tending to all the smelly humans. The, the, um, sorry, that's, uh, no, I would uh, say smelly. Just, uh, just tending to the humans. Sorry about that, that just, that just slipped out. A little bit insensitive. Uh, smelly humans. Okay, we have to split up here for a moment. Portal up to that passage, and I'll see you on the other side. Tell you. Humans? Oh, love them. Just the way they look is great. And their folklore. Wonderful and very colourful. Well, 